Hi, this is Paul from The Pond Guy, here to talk about aquatic plants for your water garden. In a water garden, aquatic plants are vital in creating a balanced ecosystem. Aquatic plants add an aesthetic touch to your landscape, provide habitat for aquatic life, and compete for the same nutrients as algae. When selecting plants for your pond, we recommend that you cover 40 to 60% of the water's surface. This should consist of the following mixture of plants. Floating plants such as water hyacinth and water lettuce offer shade to cool the water and to protect your fish from predators. Submerged plants such as Volusneria and hornwort are oxygenators and great for providing spawning areas for your fish. Bog plants such as cattails and iris add beauty at the edge of the pond. And water lilies or lotus, which not only provide shade but can add a variety of color to your water garden. So you might be wondering, how many aquatic plants do I need? For a pond up to 50 square feet, we recommend the use of six to 12 floating plants, two bog plants, five submerged plants, and one water lily. For more information on how many aquatic plants your water garden should have, visit our learning center at thepondguide.com forward slash learning center. Here are a couple more things that can be helpful when selecting plants that will perform best in your pond. Your plant hardiness zone. The USDA publishes a plant hardiness zone map, which is the standard that gardeners and growers use to determine which plants will survive and grow in your location. The majority of your pond plants should be from your hardiness zone because they're best able to tolerate the year-round conditions of your area. The sun exposure your pond receives. In addition to hardiness zones, plants are also categorized by the type of sunlight that they like to receive. Full sun, partial sun, or shade. Your pond's depth. Some pond plants prefer deep water while others prefer shallow. As an example, bog plants prefer shallow water up to 6 inches, where hardy water lilies prefer deeper water up to 18 inches. When ordering aquatic plants, our plants will generally ship in one of three ways. As bare root, containing little or no foliage, a bunch, which is a grouping of several stems of plants, or as net pots, which contain roots with some foliage. Upon arrival, they will not appear as lush plants, but don't worry, once established in your pond, they will rapidly grow and expand. On another note, you can add snails, such as the black Japanese trapdoor snail, to your pond. These snails are great pond cleaners and help keep your rocks clean and your water clear. Now that you're equipped with a little bit more plant knowledge, if you're fighting water quality issues, chances are you just need to add some plants to your pond. Aquatic plants are just one of the keys to a balanced ecosystem. For more information, watch the Water Garden 101 video to learn how the five keys to a balanced pond ecosystem can keep your pond clean, clear, and healthy all season. For more expert tips, visit us online at thepondguy.com or give us a call at 866-POND-HELP.